All right. So uh, what I am doing is I am uh, trying to use the Neo Habitat project. Now, this is running in Vice. This is a Commodore 64. Uh, this was my first MMO. Uh, this was uh, me. Um, actually, I wonder why my camera is all the way down there. Let me move my camera up here. Something happened. Anyway, hi. Uh, so um, this is uh, my first MMO. And this was about, uh, I, I didn't play it when it was called Habitat. I played it when it was apparently, as I learned tonight, a bastardization called uh, Club Carib. And it made, I played it for an entire month. Uh, the reason I only played it for an entire month is because I was, um, uh, I was a child at the time, and it was on Quantum Link, which later became AOL. And Quantum Link had a wonderful thing, and so did early AOL, called Plus Time. And Plus Time was something like eight cents a minute or something like that. Uh, suffice it to say, I racked up a $400 bill in Plus Charges because of Club Creep. So this made such an impression on me, even though I only played this MMO for one month. I only played this for one month. It was called Club Carib. Uh, and uh, the, the original developers, some of which went on to be like masters of like JavaScript uh, and stuff, st things I use in my everyday life, like JSON, JSON, the, 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 that kind of that, uh, talking protocol between a server and a client, as well as uh, Node, Node.js, same guys. You know, Doug Crockford, who I've got his book, uh, and I didn't. I didn't put. The, I didn't actually like look up who did uh, Habitat originally, but I mean, I have JavaScript. The good parts. It's over. It's on my shelf right back here. So uh, I was very excited uh, to, to hear a lot of them. They just released this. They were at a, a computer museum in Oakland, California, and uh, actually had uh, Randy. Uh, I forget his last name, and I don't have it in front of me. Uh, but they had him on, and and a couple other people that were around Lucasfilm Games at the time. This was 1984. Was when this first came out. Uh, but they've launched this server. It's in alpha right now. So uh, I'm uh, going to try to see. I have not used this version of NeoHabitat. I logged in about a month ago using Quantum Link Relo Q Link Reloaded uh, and got it to work. But I have not work done it with this. And they just launched this tonight. So we're going to see if this will work. So I'm going to, I think I just need to, like, have this set. And I think if I hit a button, there we go. Type a name of less than 12 characters. Well, let me do that. Oh, it does not like my... There we go. The one thing I don't like about um, Vice is that I can't... Like, when I hold down Shift, things don't work as well. And I don't know if that's like me. I have one to view credits. Look at that. Okay, Randy Farmer was there. Uh, Chip Morningstar was there in Oakland. Uh, but you'll also, and so these are all the other people that are working with uh, the maid is the uh, computer museum in Oakland that uh, did this. Fujitsu holds the rights, like Lucasfilm sold the rights to them. Uh, Quantum Link Reloaded and stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to go in as Black Wolf. I'm now connecting to the server, and now I'm launching Habitat. This is fantastic. So this is a pre configured version of Vice. Oh, there we go. I still remember that. I um I remember this all the time. So basically the man, all the hang on. There we go. So they've pre-configured this so you don't have to like detach uh things and attach device images. Oh, and then I gotta hit any key. I forgot about the any key part. So this is now loading the second disk. So I just changed the disk because there was the loader disk and then the data disk. And so now hopefully we will connect to uh, a modern day server that's talking to the original code from, uh, from, from uh, the C64 disks. So you could actually run this on original uh, disks. They actually got one running. Um, so now we're just like, we're waiting and hoping that, that this will actually work. It is the first night, so you never know. Hello, Dungeon Buster. 
Oh, Don John Buster is now following. Thank you for the follow. I'm not used to that, but I mean, I've got... Okay, here we go. This loading music, I still remember to this day. Still remember to this day. So it's connecting to the world. Sometime. There we go. All right. Welcome to Habitat. There are 15 others here. You are a ghost. Press F1 to become an avatar. What does my avatar look like? I have now pressed F1. I am waiting for my avatar. I am still waiting for my avatar. Where is my avatar? There I am. Mike has arrived. Wait. Oh. Okay, Mike has arrived, but that's that's not right. So I'm actually using Xbox 360 controller because why not? Uh, so the way uh, because you only had one button, um, so that that's what I look like right there. Uh, so uh, basically, on a Commodore 64 to move, you would move your cursor around with the joystick. You would hold down a button. You it, hold down the button, excuse me, and you would go up for go, down for do, uh, left for put, and right for get. So you could actually go anywhere. And so I am sitting outside of the stock market right now. Uh, and you do have an inventory. So, like, if I go into get, I can actually get into my inventory. And now it's loading something. And so you can see that I actually have a token. And I believe F7. F7 does not do anything uh, in this. But that's your general, like, you know, who is the other person type of thing. So, uh... And so you'd have an inventory that you would be able to, to pick stuff up with. And this is a piece of paper, so I could write things on a piece of paper. So uh, let's see, let's go over here. So now we're just going to go to another thing here. I shouldn't sing because I don't know if there's a delay or not. Uh, getting flashback to a classic adventure games. That is because this is the old Lucasfilm games. Uh, like, they apparently had... Uh, uh, they do have, like, Day of the Tentacle stuff in here. I mean, they borrowed assets from other games. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find somebody else in here. So I'm going to walk over here. This was originally developed in 1984. It uh, was in, used from 1988 to 1994, run by Quantum Link. And it is widely considered the first graphical MMO, Tivoli's Garden. I have not run into anybody else yet. Drinking on. And this is something I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what I was doing because I'm on Twitch. But uh, what I just did there was something I never would have done when I was originally in Club Curry. I heard this music a lot in that one month. So I played this for one month until I racked up a... Uh, here's Randy. Uh, until I racked up a $400 bill of plus charges because Quantum Link, like early AOL, had like $0.08 cents a minute. Uh, so here's a map. Can I get a map? No. What is F7? Let's see here. F7. No. Ah. Do displays the next. This is Map of Populopolis. Excellent. And uh, this should actually, if I do an F7 on me, this should show that I am me. My name is Black Wolf. I am at the peak health. That is because there was actually, like, there, there's a place, like, you can actually, like, use weapons and kill other people. I never did that. So let's continue through Populopolis. I don't, I don't need to buy a map. Do it live. I don't need a map. This space for rent. Okay, and so now if you see this on the top left, the thing that looks like a, a raw, um, that's a ghost. So that's somebody who has not become an avatar yet. Uh, this was because you could only have six avatars on the screen. And, uh, and, and, and so the other people would be in this little eye. And so that's how you could have multiple people in a room. 
So somebody up here is a ghost, but I'm going to continue around because I want to find other avatars and actually say something. Yes, paid by the minute. We got like 10 hours free a month, but that was not enough. That was totally not enough. Ooh, this is for rent. So these were all remade. Uh, the server, basically, they have rewritten in today's technology uh, because the original server just, um, the hardware doesn't exist for it anymore. Uh, and nobody has an emulator for it. So they just, the server is actually open source running in Java and JavaScript. There's somebody else. Who is this? Where is he going? He's, is he going off the screen? There used to be a way to wave. I, don't, I forget how to wave. So if I do F7, what it'll do is... Uh, oops, that was not F7. This is F7. That is regular Ryan. Hello. Shift something is, is not something uh, that I'm, I'm used to. And now he's leaving the screen. He is going somewhere else. What is in fine furniture? Uh, so let's see here. We're going we're gonna to go down. Hello, Act Deft. Welcome to my Commodore 64 stream. Uh, la vous men. Whatever that means. We're going to go on to the next screen. So, Act Def, just to kind of fill you in, this is the first MMO I ever played. Uh, Carrie's Knickknacks. Uh, and it has been recently re resurrected by the original creators tonight. So, it actually, there was there's an event going on in Oakland right now at a computer museum, Oakland, California. Uh, and uh, they recently did a stream with some of the people that created it. And now it is available for anybody that has Vice or some people who even have... Um, E that even have uh, original hardware. You can actually run this on the original hardware. And this is actually making me want to finally get a, get a Commodore 64 that works because they make uh, devices that will um, connect over, you know, connect over the internet, like connect over your Wi-Fi. Um, and uh, there's also a thing you can actually use an SD card reader, and it'll actually act as a disk drive. So you could actually put the .d64 files on its SD card and then run them on an actual Commodore 64 as if it was a 1541 drive. Uh, was Habitat its own game, or were there also game spaces inside of it? Uh, so it was a virtual world. So it was its own game, basically. But there was, like, an arcade, and you could play chess, or you could play checkers. Uh, and But it was very clunky. It was like you, you could actually, like... Um, take uh, you, you'd actually like pick up a chess piece and it was human sized and you put it down somewhere else and you would play against someone else but it wasn't actually like a, a single player game like that so this was this was definitely its own game it got rebranded club Carib in uh, 1988 and uh, kind of made more like a club uh, so uh, the woods this is actually the woods area here I don't want to go into uh, mainly because that is where weapons are available or enabled, and I don't have a weapon. And so I could go in there and somebody could shoot me, and I'd die. I don't want to do that. Because there are some people can... You, I don't know where the guns are in the game, but there are guns in the game. Uh, I have no clue where I am. What is this building? Let us go to this building. And those ports, those are teleporters, so you could easily get to other uh, ports on the... Uh, teleports, you can easily go around the map if you knew the teleport... Pop you stop. What is pop you stop? This music I heard all the time. I am in the lobby. Okay, so like this is actually, there's a piece of paper on the ground. So what is this piece of paper? So I can now actually get this piece of paper. Somebody left a piece of paper and it's got writing on it. I have now gotten it. Now I'm going to do it. And join us at the roof. Okay. I will quit. I will put this down. Back on the... So there, apparently there are people on the roof. So let us go join people on the roof. 
ba, 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 ba. Uh, I want to go up. Let's go up. Yes, the roof is on fire, Act Deft. We'll, we'll see if it's on fire. Okay. And we're going to go up. Well, color changed. Let's go up more, some more. Oh no, I was I need to be on the really the edge of the screen. There we go. Up. Oh, and by the way, you know, if you want to see something really funny, watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight my head and I'm gonna get. And up, oh, nope. Is it not gonna let me? Is it not gonna let me? Is it do? No. That's weird because it's supposed to be able to let you. Maybe if I do this. No. Okay. Well, you 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 can change heads, and the way you do that is you can actually behead yourself. And I was going to show that, and it didn't work. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. So I wonder if that's a demon. Oh, there's my head. I took my head off. So so now I'm like walking around. With just my head. So I guess the server just didn't. I'm going to put the head back on my head. There we go. All right. So, yeah, so that was me beheaded. But you could actually get all these other heads. In this one, you could, like, actually have, like, they have a Day of the Tentacle head somewhere in here. Uh, there was a cat-eared head earlier. Uh, and you can change your body type. Uh, they have male and female and alien stuff. I'm... So let's see. How high up is this? It's, I'm going to be sad if this is like... There's 50 floors! Good luck! Yeah, there, there are very many exotic heads. Some like bears' heads and... I think when I actually played the game originally, I had, like, this bald head. I was, like, this bald dude for whatever reason. And I was, like, in, in, like, middle school or high school. So a bald head for me was not normal. How many floors does this thing have? What am I doing to myself? Suddenly the stairs seen from Ghostbusters flashing through your head. Well, good, good thing this game was made before Ghostbusters came out. Up. Oh, I am on the roof. There's nobody up here. Where is everybody? Can I get that? No. Can I get that? Can I do that? Can I jump off the side of the building? No. Can I jump to the ledge? Am I overloading the server? Okay. Okay. Oh, can I do, can I do this side? Can I do this? Can I do anything? What's down here? Can I go back down here? There is nowhere to go in that direction. The black cloud is menacing. Yeah, and I don't think I can go to the black cloud. Oh, wait, I can. Oh, there's nowhere to go in that direction. Am I going to fly off the building? Am I going to fly off the building? Ah, nobody is on the roof. Nobody's on the roof. I'm so sad. Well, now we'll go back down. Actually, let, let's see what let's see what's on the eleventh floor. Let let's see. There's an exit here. What's on the eleventh floor of this skyscraper? Oh, look at this. There's like an elevator that I probably could have used the entire time instead of going up the steps. Is there anything over here? What's over here? Oh, so what this has, I think, is like doorway to another is there anything in the trash can nope nothing in the trash can 
Um, yeah, I, I'm afraid I'm gonna get lost if I go in here because like these might actually like be a way to like jump around. So I'm gonna try to get back to the. You used to be able to get um, uh, like private apartments or something. So can I go in here and can I do something on the elevator? It, it I think it might be apartments. So let's see. Do anything? No. No. Now I'm overloading the server with commands. It's gonna be like, what are you doing? You're sending me all these commands. Yeah, screw that. All right, back down the steps then, because that's apparently not an elevator, or if it is, it's not coded yet. So we're just going to go down the steps. Actually, I think if I turn into a ghost, so if I hit F1 and I become a ghost, I think it's quicker if I, like, zoom around as a ghost, because then, like, I don't have to, like, spawn as an avatar. Habitat hacks. Hexatat. So if you're interested, this is neohabitat.org. They actually have a, um, there's a GitHub repo. Uh, it has a zip file that has Vice and these disks already set. Uh, and it's got everything set for the network for you. And I'm just running in a Vice emulator. We're going back down the steps. Come on. I played this game so much. For a month. Played this game so much for a month. Then I, like, racked up a $400 bill. Got grounded. Never was allowed to play again. It was so sad. Until now. And now I can play for free. Now I'm in the lobby. Ooh, there's a down from here. Is there a basement? Is there something going on in the basement? Let's go to the basement. Nothing scary can happen in the basement, right? Yeah, something scary can happen in the basement. I uh, might be screwed. Because I don't know how to get out. There is nowhere to go in that direction. Uh, there's nowhere to go in that direction. I'm going to laugh. Okay. Because they, they have done that. Okay, good. Uh, they, they do have, like, a you can get lost in places. And there are ways you can, like, get in a dead end and you can never get out. Uh, so... And yes, th this was the bleeding edge. This was, uh, there are some interesting YouTube videos of people like showing this, uh, and it, they had to explain a lot of stuff for the first time, uh, with this, you know, like this is what a virtual world is. Uh, and they were even talking about how, um, I'm going to see what's on the, to the right of the lobby here. Uh, they even had to explain, you know, they had phones in the game, but they didn't want to do that. This was supposed to be fantastical. So they had this thing called ESP. And that's how you would send a direct message uh, to people. So oh, there's actually, like, stuff here. So let me go out here. The Please wait for my avatar. Uh, so they would actually have to explain. And they have this thing called ESP. So you And that's basically, we know them as private messages or something. But they had to explain what that was and had to work in the lore how you could just be anywhere and talk immediately to other people. Well, nowadays we have cell phones. It's not a foreign concept. But back then it was. Uh, and, uh, yes, Dark Tetsuya says, Halt and Catch Fire, yes, this and something else, they mashed together, uh, because they were talking about that as well, that Halt and Catch Fire actually used Habitat as the inspiration, uh, for things, so I'm gonna see what's on here, so yes, this was actually in Halt and Catch Fire, it was like a mashup of this and something else that they, uh, did, um, so let's see, let's do this, what's on this piece of paper, browsing at the secret, oh, it's a drill tweet. Weird Twitter is in Neo Habitat.
I'm just going to put that back. Is this another dw drill tweet? Is this going to be more weird Twitter? It's another drill tweet. I am done. Um, I I am. Uh, I know what I'll do. I think I know what I'm going to do. No, no, no. Okay, good. Uh, so I am going to go. I know what I'm. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do, guys. Here we go. It's going to be really topical, you guys. Reach into my pocket, pull a piece of paper out, then I'm going to do my own piece of paper. Write that on that piece of paper, and I'm going to put this piece of paper right here on the Pop You Stop BBS. Done! There is now that. I have contributed to the legend of Neo Habitat. There is nowhere to go in that direction. Is there another? Maybe is there something down here? Can I go somewhere in this direction? No. I have now contributed to the Pop you Stop B BBS. Thank you very much. My work here is done. So what? what is in here? So let's see here. Uh, so if I highlight this and hit F7, it'll tell me what's in it. Weekly rant, perpetual current issue. So this was what, so tokens are actually an economy. This was also one of the first virtual economies. And I actually remember in Club Caribe, what you could do is you could take that paper and you could write stuff on it, and then you could actually package it and people could buy it in game and you would actually get royalties. So I actually did have books published inside Club Caribe uh, and uh, was able to actually make tokens, which you would then use to buy new heads and buy buy stuff. So it was actually a functioning economy as well in this game. Really ahead of its time. Very ahead of its time. And it cost eight cents a minute. Eight cents a flippin' minute. On top of whatever, like, monthly fee, nineteen ninety five a month or whatever. $400 is how much I wound up spending my parents. All right. Uh, downtown. I want to go back downtown. I do not want to go into the woods. The woods is where you get shot. I do not want to get around this. I want to find other people. All right, so now we're on Broadway, so I'm going to go this way. They have Broadway and Rodeo Drive and... Where am I? Okay, so here's the arcade. So if you're, you were asking earlier about, like, uh, you know, are there, there are other games? Here's what the other games were. So you can play chess up here, checkers to the left, or backgammon on the right. So I'll go over here to the backgammon. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we are now in, uh, we can actually, like, 
Actually, I don't think I can. Well, no, I, I did get it. Oh, well. Uh, so you can pick up the die. And I wonder if you then do the die. Oh, yep. And so, yeah, so I probably can put the die right back here. So I could do that. And I think if I can just I can just do this without actually picking up. Yep. And I got two threes. So then what I would do is I would pick up. Um, looks like the game's already been kind of started here. Uh, but then I you know I can pick up whatever I wanted. And get this guy. Uh, and then I could do one, two, three, and I could just put it wherever I want. So I could like actually put it here probably. Because I bet, like, it doesn't actually, like, know the rules of the game. It just gave you all this stuff. So even though that's... A even though that's an illegal move, it let me do it. Uh, and then I think I can actually, like... If I hit this reset button, it'll actually reset the board. Oh, it's, I think this is the reset button. Let's do the reset button. I'm going to run over and hit the reset button. I'm hitting it. Do the do. It didn't reset. Because <coughs> this is not your standard configuration for uh, this. So let's go out. Maybe. Maybe we can go out. Or maybe the uh, the maybe I overloaded the server by hitting the, the the button. Maybe maybe I crashed the entire world. This this could be amazing. I think I crashed the world. Oh, now now it's actually redoing everything. Okay. It's not going to let me actually hit enter until it's done. Yes, I am Black Wolf, destroyer of worlds. Kneel before me. Kneel. This is running on current hardware. Like, you can actually, like, download the server and run your own Neo Habitat server, like, through Docker or something on your own computer. And so you can actually, like, create your own stuff and you can modify. Like, so you probably could actually create a working backgammon game that actually judged uh, and everything. Peach has arrived. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so I probably crashed. I, I probably... Everybody in the world probably had a little p moment of panic because I hit that. Alright, so what is... See, I came from the right. Uh, so I will go to the left and see what's over here. I got a tweet. I'm gonna check my tweets on my phone so I don't like lose anything here. Thank you for the tweet, Act Deft. This is weird. Like I'm usually, I've, I've been streaming like VR stuff, so I'm not used to actually like having access to Twitter. So, oh, somebody else is here. Somebody else is here. I'm gonna go over here. Somebody. Oh, he's got an alien head. He's got an alien, guys. We, we found an alien. Somebody call Ice. So, somebody call Ice. Who is he? Who are you? It is Pina Colada. There used to be a wave. Like, I don't know. Like, there, there is, like, a, a... There's a bunch of function keys that there I probably should have, like, actually looked up. Uh, let me see if I can do that over here. Um, read the manual. I'm going to see if uh, this has, like... Da -da 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 -da. Because I think there is, like, you know, how you can sit. Ah. So if I do Control-1, let's try this. Control-1. No. No. Sometimes Vice doesn't let you, like, do, like... So I'm holding down Control and 1, and I don't think that's working, unless it's, like... Is is it a different uh, thing in in Vice, like to be able to do a? Uh, he might be AFK. 
Um, but yeah, I pulled up the manual and it's like control one, uh, wave your hand, control two point. So is control like a different, is it mapped to something different in vice? I didn't have Vice in the foreground there. Let me put Vice in the foreground and try hit it again. No. Oh. <laughs> and then in, in the manual right here, in C64, control is mapped to tab key in Vice. Press tab one to wave. All right, well. That's awkward. Tab one. There's the wave. Look at that. Awesome. What do I have in here? So this is... Uh, so F7 will actually show me uh, what's in here. Do displays the account balance. Do my account balance, please. Fit. Oh, look at all that. I am going to get... with. I'm going to withdraw tokens... I have 50,100 tokens in my account. I'm going to have all the monies. Wow. I will just take... Uh, ooh, what am I going to take? Uh, why is it not letting me... There we go. There we go. I had the I had the wrong screen. I I I moved. All right. So now I've got a bunch of money. What can I go buy? What can I buy? I want to buy stuff. Uh the Populopolis Library. Oh, I've got tokens in my hand. I probably should put the tokens in my pocket. Can I F7 myself and see what I've got? That's not F7. That's F11. Oh, I live in Poppy Stop 1063. So 1063 is, uh, remember when we were in that building? I am apparently on the 10th floor, and that is my, uh, that, I that is my uh, thing. So I'm going to put the token in my pocket. There we go. I am still putting, okay. So if you're just joining us, what I am showing here, what I've got going on, is uh, Habitat, or it's now called Neo Habitat. I'm running this on the Commodore 64 emulator Vice. This was my first MMO. I played it in 1991. It was created by Lucasfilm in 1984. Uh, it was a part of the Quantum Link, which later became AOL, uh, the Q-Link service from 1988 to 1994. Uh, and this was my first MMO. So, um, yes. Thank you for following Blades of Steel. Like, I, I actually have, like, Twitch alerts and everything. Like, I'm actually trying to take this Twitch thing seriously, maybe. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So, this is another... Per look, you can see his thing. Uh, let's see. I need to... Where's my cursor? There he is. Okay. So, I'm on Skid Row right now. Yeah, I need that wolf head. I'm going to try to buy that wolf head because I really, you know, Black Wolf should have... Ooh, there's a letter here. And uh, there, there's... Oh. What's in the letter? Let's get the letter. Let's, let's get this letter. Let's do the letter. Do it! We're going to do the letter. What does the letter say? What does the letter say? Today, somebody sent Phil Collins. I will just put that right back down because that makes no sense. At least it wasn't a drill tweet, okay? I mean, we, we've already seen some drill tweets. I put some kofefe in the BBS. We've had lots of fun. What's in this? What's in this? What is this? Oh, look at that. The Weekly Rant, 1986. Back when we actually had, like, the word Avatar capitalized because it was kind of a new, like, the only other place you saw them was in the Ultimate Games. 
It's official source. Hmm. Monday pub date here, 1986. Congratulations, you're one of the Habitat pioneers. Yes. In order to teleport, you'll need cash. I'm not going to read everything. I'm a terrible Twitch streamer. I'm not reading this entire thing to you. <clears throat> yes, and uh, the words going in, this was actually created to work at 300 baud. So Habitat was created to work well on a 300 baud modem. I, th I don't know if that's what they're emulating here. Uh, I remember it was 2400 baud when I was playing it. Um, but they, they did say that it was, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. But, yeah, so they actually do have, like, uh, they had a, the story and stuff. Because there, there was actually a game, like, you could actually, like, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put it. Can I keep it? Can I keep it? There we go. I'm going to put that in my back pocket. There we go. It's now in my back pocket. Uh, Kelly's Bar and Grill, this was actually a place, like, this was the meeting spot, uh, for a lot of people. So this is where people would just hang out and chat. Can I buy a virtual steak? I'm sure I could. Um... I don't know if they've actually made them in this game yet. All the graphical assets were on the disk, so it's just the server has to call them. And they did not modify the code that's on the disk. Hey, look at this! Oh, wow! We actually have other people. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to wave... And so when you see how he says, I am Ricky, that means he hovered over me and hit F7. Uh, so that's how I, he knows what my name is. I know what his name is. Uh, and so that's kind of how we can, you can, you can't like check for people under, uh, under um, like, you can't just like look at somebody and they don't know who you are. So that is, uh, so that, that's what that was. So it, it identifies someone to you when you identify yourself to them. So who's this guy? So I'm going to. I like him. Hit F7, and uh, that's Randy. That I, that Randy, that Randy might actually be the Randy that created this thing, because the dude's name is Randy. He's in Oakland. He may not actually be uh, actually at the computer right now because there's a there's an event going on at uh, the Maid M A D E, which is like the Museum of Something Computing Something or Other, and. Um, he was, and they're actually doing a launch event for the Neo Habitat, like this launch tonight. Uh, they had a Twitch stream over, and I actually hosted it uh, on my channel. They actually had a Twitch stream, and he was sitting there talking about it. I really want to get that dude on my podcast. Like, if anybody from Neo Habitat Project is listening, I want to get Randy on my podcast because it was just the stuff that he was talking about was was awesome. Okay, so this is where, if I really wanted to, this device right here could change me into a woman. So uh, that is that. That's what that device is. What's in the men's room? We're gonna go into the men's room. Do I have to do it? It's locked. Of course it is. Uh, but like, if I let's see, if I do this and I see, select do for change. Sh should I select do for change? Should I? Should I select do for change? Chat, help me out here. Should I select the do for change? Go 
Oh, that guy's going. That's probably Randy. He's probably doing something. It might not actually be Randy. Oh, he's going to do it. I'll, I'll get out of his way. Whoop. Well, where's he going? He's following me. Okay. Do. We're going to do. Let's do this. There we go. You ready? You ready? I did it for change. And now I am a lovely person. He'd be so proud, yes. Is Randy going to do it? Is Randy going to do it? Are you going to do it for change? Do it for change. Do it for change. So like I said, this is Habitat, Neo Habitat. It was uh, uh, the first MMO on the Commodore 64 is what this was. He's going to do it. He did it for change. So proud. He's, he's all like role-playing in this. I bet that is Rainy because he's role-playing. The change has been did. Where's the actual do spot? I wanna, I wanna do myself back. I wanna go back. I want to go back. Are we both going to do it? Are we going to do it all at the same time? Do the do. Ch 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 changes. Is there a dance emote? Hang on, let me see if I can find the dance. Uh, tab four. No, that's not tab four. Tab four. Tab four. I keep remembering, I, I keep like, it's done. And then I exit the room. <laughs> Mic drop. What's over here on the left? Nowhere to go in that direction. All right, well, let's, I want to find the wolf head. I need to find the wolf head. I know there's, like, a place where you can buy heads. And now that I have, like, all the tokens in the world, I want a head. I'm, I, I want to change my head. We're going to change my head. I'm now leaving Kelly's Bar and Grill. Yes, I'm looking for Heads RS. I don't think that's what it's called, though. But there is, there is a place to buy heads. Uh, that's the pawn shop. You can only sell things at the pawn shop, so I don't want to sell anything there. You can't buy other people's stuff. You just, you get tokens. You can actually, like, steal things from other people's rooms and then sell them at the pawn shop. It's really sad. But it was a functioning economy. It really was. Uh-oh. 
This is taking long to load. That means there's other avatars here. Oh, no. Up, oh, Geek's Rule. What is this? What's in here? What is in here? Uh, it is not F. I keep hitting F. No, that, that was F7. What am I doing? Trying to, I'm trying to. Why is my F7 not working anymore? What is going on? What happened to my keyboard? There we go. I didn't have the... Once again, once again, I did not have the thing. What is this? What's in here? What is he doing in here? What are you doing, Randy? Oh, it's those are books. So those are actually bound books. All right. We're going to... I, I yeah, The reason my keyboard didn't work is because I didn't have Vice in the foreground because I keep like, switching windows over here to like read chat and see how many people are watching me and all that stuff. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Uh, Magic Mashudas. This looks promising. Let, let's go into Magic Mashudas. Can I, can I buy a head in here? Can I buy a wolf head? That's what I want. I want to buy a wolf head. Ba, 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 ba. I want to buy a wolf head. Buy the wolf. Hungry like the wolf. Got to have a wolf head. There's a lot of people in here, I guess. It's taking a while to load. That means there's lots of avatars. Or there's lots of somethings. What's in here? What's in here? Oh, Cthulhu head. I don't know if they have a Cthulhu head or not. Oh, trinkets or mega power. Um, no, 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 none of those are heads. None of those are heads, but let's see if there's another if there's another room. There's nowhere to go in that direction. All right, all right, all right. What's over here? Is there anything over here? Nowhere to go in that direction. All right, well, let's see here. Uh, so if I F7 on this, uh, that is down, 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 takes you up. That's, that's pretty expensive. What does this thing do? Um... Okay, so no, those are, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I don't know what those are, so, um, we're going to go out and try to find the head shop. There's a head hunter out there. He will trade you two of his heads for one of yours. Disney's Jungle Ride joke. You've ridden Disney's Jungle Cruise, right? That's one of the jokes they always say. Let's leave the magic shop. This is the only song ever in this virtual world. Ba -bum, ba -bum. It was st stuck in your head for 30 years. Sandy's Spas. I don't know. I don't think that's the head. I don't think that's the head story. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, Act F, you got to go. Thanks for stopping by. What is like the, the next test punch happening? Is arms happening again? Is that what it is? Are you going to go punch people? I can punch people, too. There's a punch emote. What's the punch emote? I, I gotta look at the punch emote. Punch emote is... Uh, control 9. So I, I can punch. Let's punch in the air. Punch! Punch, punch. Oh, it's a double punch. Alright, well, this is the general store. Let's go in the general store. Go in the general store, see what's in here. See if there's any heads. I want a wolf head. Loading everything. There's a lot of stuff in here because it's loading. It's loading something pretty big.
Oh, there's a lot of people in here. There's a lot of shoppers in here. It's a shopping capital. It's a general store. It is taking a long time to load. Something's going on in here. Something is taking place inside. It's, it's, something strange is afoot in the Circle K in in NeoHabitat.org. Alpha, fable right now. I'm playing it in the Vice emulator. But it runs on actual Commodore 64 stuff if you have the right equipment to get on the internets. It'll even run on the original discs. If you have the original Club Caribe discs, or Club Carib. The people that created Neo or the created Habitat went on to create things like uh, that programmers may know, like uh, the JSON format, the JSON format, uh, and even Node.js. And one of them is actually Douglas Crockford, who writes uh, JavaScript, the good parts. It's a book I have on my shelf to his stuff all the time. Turns out this was one of the first things he did was this MMO back in 1984. I am vamping during the load screen. I make a terrible streamer. Um, I was addicted to this game for a month as a middle schooler. Thank you guys for watching. I know this is not VR, but it's something that not many people have. And I actually got it working, and I remember how to use it. And yes, the only thing missing, dot matrix humming in the background. But uh, what they were talking about, and I, I didn't even realize this, is that when a new avatar came into the room, it would actually load from the disk. So you could actually hear from the 1541 disk drive when someone was about to enter. So they didn't need to actually make any audio cues about it because your disk drive was your audio cue that someone knew was entering the room. <coughs> that was not something I noticed when I was when I was there. Listen to this music. Isn't that great music? There's, there's something going like there's something server crashed? I don't know. Turn that back down. This is exciting right here, isn't it? Yeah, this is I'm going to give it a couple more seconds, then I'm going to log out and try to log back in. <coughs> uh, I have no clue. I have no clue if it would kick you or if it would just hang. I have no clue. Because the client code is the same code that shipped in, uh, 19, in the 80s, in the early 90s. They didn't change the client code at all, because I don't think they have the source code for the client code. Um... They have a new loader for it, but this is actually the original code. Uh, so you can actually take... If I, I I do somewhere still have my old Q-Link discs, I could use those discs to get on this if I had all the right equipment. <clears throat> but I may actually just uh, relaunch. Let's see. I'm going to close this. Done. I'm going to exit. And then I'm going to relaunch Habitat. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to hit uh, enter. Log back in is me. 
Now, what's neat with this is they give you a special version of Vice. So it actually has, because there's two. This was the intro screen. So usually you would have to put in the second disc. Well, they actually have Alt-N. It actually attaches the second disc. So you don't have to like go through the menus and insert your second disc. So the, it comes with its own version of Vice that runs this stuff. So let's see what happens. I use the same name, so I wonder if it actually cached my information or uh, if it's going to start me over as a brand new avatar. We will see. The suspense. It's palpable. What will happen? I wonder if it went down. I don't know. I might have killed it. Trying to go into the general store, I might have tried. I might have actually killed Habitat. It might be over. The Habitat may be dead again. Oh, wait, wait. Some ha oh. Something happened. We're back to the room changing screen. Yes, this was Lucasfilm Games. So, you know, they did uh, steal a lot of assets from, like, this and Day of the Tentacle and from Maniac Mansion and stuff. So it was very much inspired uh, by the adventure games of the day. Will it work? Oh, <gasps> it stopped. Oh, I am outside the general store. Awesome. So let me see here. Let me see if I do this. If So if I become an avatar, <laughs> we're going to wait for my avatar. Please wait for my avatar. I just want to make sure, like, it's still me. That, that looks like me. Yeah, that's still me. If I look at my inventory, is all my stuff still here? Yep, all my stuff, because that was the, the, the thing I stole. All right. Um, what is this? Let's get this piece of paper. Let's see what people... Before I go back inside, because that, that may not be a good idea, trying to go into the general store... Uh, let's see. Let's do the paper. What does the paper say? It says Phil Collins. What's the deal with Phil Collins? I don't get it. Can I do something without picking it up? That's... I can't remember. If there are any girls there, I want to do them. Now you got to pick it up and then do it. And I like how Avatar is still uh, capitalized at this time of, uh, time of year. Okay, what's this? If this says Phil Collins. Oh. During stress testing for the Intellivision, the developers accidentally used Celsius instead of Fahrenheit during a heat test, melting the console. Ooh. I learned something tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That's history, man. History, man. History, man. He's like Particle Man. I should stop singing before... Something happens. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go over here. Before I go back in the general store, I don't want to hang everything again. We're going to go over here. See if there's like a head shop. I, I think the general store is the head shop, though. I think that's where I can buy new heads. I think. Uh, so that's apparently blocked. All right, so I am going to go back into the general store, and we're, we're going to try to crash the server again by going in the general store. <coughs> How about that? Except what I'll do this time is I'm going to turn into a ghost first. So I'm going to hit F1. Turn into a ghost. That way it's like my avatar doesn't have to, like, show up in there. And then I'll go in, because maybe, like, I, it was waiting for, like, a sixth avatar to leave. Because you can only have six people actually be avatars.
So yeah, so if you want to know more about this, you can look up uh, Lucasfilm's Habitat. Uh, and there's like several like academic papers dissecting this because this was the first graphical mug. This was the first virtual world that was graphical, uh, that was online. You were interacting with other people. So a lot of like pioneering was done. Things we take for granted today, like the idea of private messages was done from this. Um, and a lot of things like they had to figure out a lot of things that we just take for granted in, in online spaces. So uh, it's really interesting. And then it was called Club Carib uh, on Quantum Link, which actually there is actually a real place called Club Carib now. So it's really hard to Google about it. Uh, but it was uh, rebranded as Club Carib. Uh, and a lot of and they had like it looked like a island club at that point. They kind of rebranded it, got rid of the mystical elements for a few months. Has a functioning economy. I remember I wrote a book, and you could buy it in those things, and I would actually get uh, deposits of royalties from the book that I wrote if people bought my book. So uh, it actually had a functioning economy. Uh, people could buy, sell, trade. I think the general store is busted. I think this is busted. I don't think we're getting in the general store, guys. I'm going to hear the song in my sleep, just like I did when I played it 25 years ago. Got a bad, got a bad feeling about this, guys. Yeah, the general store is a black hole. I think it's because that's where you can buy all the stuff. And I want to buy things. And so does everybody else. And I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're done. I, I, I don't think this is going to happen. I think the general store is off limits. And it's a shame. All right. I'm not going to go to the general store this time. I am going to close this down. And I'm going to relaunch. One more time. And then this time I'm not going to go in the general store. Now that I know it's going to like actually put me outside of the general store. Come on. It, Rob, is it just me or like do, when you use Vice, does like when you hold down the shift key, does it not work or is it just like my setup for whatever reason? Like, because like if I hold down the shift key, I have to actually like hit a button like three or four times for it to register. <coughs> Quick switch to another instance. I probably, well, I can run my own instance. This is on GitHub. Um, so you can actually download the server on GitHub and run it locally or run your own instance of Habitat and create your own rooms and all that stuff. So um, this is, uh, so yes, I could go to another instance. I just want to play on the official instance that the, uh, the computer museum out in Oakland is running on. But like they even have like Docker builds and stuff, which is very modern right now. Uh, to you know have like a Docker instance, they actually have a Docker instance of the Habitat server that you can just run, uh, and then you can edit the code and stuff, and then go into it with this client, and uh, actually uh, you know tinker around with it and contribute to it that way. And the server is actually written in today's language, which the server is actually a ninth generation version of Habitat. They they actually counted because uh, they've rebuilt a lot of this technology nine times, the same people. So this is like the, the server is actually the ninth descendant of the original Habitat that was running on a server that like has no emulation or anything. So um, there we go. I am an avid. Okay. So I am not going to go into the general store. 
Uh, but it's written in Java and JavaScript now. So you can, if you just know Java and JavaScript, you can actually work on the server for uh, for a habitat, and you can uh, even like put in new things uh, and new functionality. So we're not going to go into the general store. We're going to go over here. All right, so now I am on Main Street. Get it? M A Main Street? I don't know. Uh. Oh, it's my bank. Bob, get it? Bob's Eubank? Bob Eubanks. Bob's Eubank. Is Oscar in here? Is Oscar in here? Nothing in the trash can. All right. Spay and neuter your pets. Fine furniture. Ugly furniture. Let's see what ugly furniture is in here. Hopefully this won't break like the general store. I have a bad feeling now. I'm like, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Don't tell me there's a party in the ugly furniture store. <clears throat> oh, nope, there isn't. Fine furniture. So let's see. What do we have here? So this is a... If I hit F7, uh, this thing shouldn't be in a Ventroid. So let's, let's do and get the next selection. Is that a gun? Oh. Change your turf. So I guess your turf is your apartment. Yeah, so that's all that's in ugly furniture. All right. That was, okay. let's, let's continue on the street here. For rent. Do while standing next to it to open. Well, then I shall do the door. Let's do the door. It's locked. So sad. We will move on. Oh, we're at City Hall. We're at 42nd Street. There's a dude with a fro here. Who is he? Who are you? I'm going to F7 you. It's Kyle. It's Kyle, everybody. Let's wave to Kyle. Yep. He is Kyle. Hi, Kyle. So the teleport, what you can do is if you have tokens, you can actually teleport to other places. And I think if I look at it, it'll tell me what this... Uh, so yeah, so pop uptown. So as long as I remember pop-uptown, uh, I can actually travel anywhere else. Uh, so uh, so I could get back here if I type pop-uptown. We're going to continue on. We're going to leave Kyle behind. 
Where's my music? Up. Oh. Where'd my music go? Where'd my music go? I lost my music. This is not good. I lost my music, everybody. That same music song that I've been hearing over and over again. See, it was lullabying me to sleep, and I can't hear it anymore. And it sounds so, it's, it's so weird. I know. The music got fact banned. See what happened here. Let's see. Uh, sound setting. Sound playback is checked. Was there? A, did I mute? Hang on. I'm gonna look in the. Uh, ah, you can make. I hit F2, and that is what happened. So. I made the tune stop with F2, so I will now hit F2. I'm going to go into Randy's uh, Adventure Emporium. The tune stopped with F2, so there it is. All right. Randy is one of the people that made the game, so he named a thing after him, place after himself. So let's see what's going on in the Emporium, in the Wimporium. I think I've made a huge mistake. Oh, no, I didn't. All right. Supplies contain. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I can get a knife. That's where I get the weapon. So what's in here? What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? That's a knife. But I want to do it and get a gun. Get a gun. I need a weapon. What's that? What's that? What's that? Is that another knife? Dude with the froze in the way. That's a knife. I don't want the knife. I want to. I want to change it. One twenty-nine. What is that? Is that a, is that is that cloud sword? Oh, it's a club. No, I want a gun. There's the gun. All right. So that's a gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of my inventory tokens. So I have tokens. And I now have tokens in my hand, so I will put them. There we go. Put the tokens away. And then grab the gun before dude with the fro does. And now I got a gun. Bob has got a gun. Uh, awesome. Pew, pew. Oh, he got a better gun. What the? Heck? No, I will keep the gun I've got. I'm not gonna have gun envy. I'm gonna put this gun away. There are areas where you can actually use the weapons, and you can like kill other players. Escape device gets you home in a panic. Hmm. I will. I will get one of those. Put the tokens. I'm gonna put the tokens. Hope that nobody. What's weird? I wonder if like somebody can come over and like gank whatever I buy before I can actually like put my to my stuff away. Let me get this. Get it. Get it. I am spending the monies. So that will actually like warp me back to I guess whatever my home area is. Uh, if I get really lost. Is there anything over here? Nowhere to go in that direction. Cool. I now have I now have a, a way out and in a weapon. Let's 
So now I can go, like, with my gun armed and, like, go in places and try to shoot people. Because there's, like, a whole woods that you can get lost in, and there's, like, a... Um, there's, like, a witch's house that's inside the woods. If you can, if you remember the maze to get there. And you can, like, get into an infinite loop if you're not careful. Which is why they give you the escape. And, okay, now we're back at the garden. So I think I've actually been through here before at the beginning of this stream. So I guess the only place I can't go in is the one place I wanted to go, which had all the heads. Costellos. What's in Costellos? Is it like Elvis Costello? Oh, look at this. I could do my I could do my show from here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I go up here? I think I can. I think I can. Oh, look at this. Can I do the microphone? I want to do the microphone. No? No? Can I get the microphone? Yes! No. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. How do I... That's... I just sat on my ass. All right. That's not, that's not helpful. I think there's a tab button I can do here. Hang on. Uh, -da -da. There, there's something I think that will allow me to like face forward. Um, scrolling through the documentation. Somewhere in here is the documentation. Uh, let's see here. Face forward. Control five. All right. So we will now control five. There we go. That works, right? This works. The first virtual comedian club. Is that topical humor? No. Is there a backstage? Can I go backstage? No. Is there anything over here? There's nowhere to go in that direction. Nowhere to go in that direction. Let us leave. The commu that 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 cl nightclub sucked anyway. And that totally was not me. That's Oh, the stock market. Can I go into the stock market? It's locked. The stock market is locked. So sad. Let's continue around Pop Populous. See what's going on in here. Quiz Shows Incorporated. Why not? Wonder if it's going to have like amazing 80s trivia that anybody in the 80s would know. But now it's been like so long. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can I? Oh, yes, I can. Hang on here. Ha! <sighs> 
Ha, I am Rob Roberts, and this is Listless. Wave. Oh. Tonight we discuss habitats. Loki, your entries are invalid. Bobby Blackwolf wins. Thank you. Good night. Excellent. So, yeah, so you could actually, people would actually host this and, you know, they would, I mean, it would just, they had the room here for people to be able to do their own trivia stuff and you people would sit in as ghosts and be uh, audience members. That was totally not rigged at all, Rob Roberts. It's not rigged. Quiz Show's Incorporated. Hamlet's place. Could this be? Could, could this be where? Could it be that this is where I buy the heads? Please be where I buy the heads. I want a wolf head. I have the money for a wolf head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like a medieval tavern. Skull on the wall. Nowhere to go over there. Nowhere to go over here. Can I take that head? Can I have the head? Can I have you? Please? Please? That seemed appropriate for for what is here in this habitat. We shall move on. I know that was not Shakespeare, but it seemed fitting. Good Times Theater. The Good Times Theater? What's in the Good Times Theater? Is this where Pee Wee was? This game was before that whole Pee Wee Harmon incident, too. Room A, talk shows, forums, and SIGs, which, are, which is short for special interest groups, by the way. Room B, opera, plays, and the mime troupe. Let's, let's go to Studio A. Let's see what's in Studio A. All right, so this is the uh, talk show set. I wonder if, like, if you can actually sit in these chairs. Can can I do the chair? No. Can I sit in this chair? No. Sitting chairs obviously was a twenty first century edition. See, Rob, while you were doing that, you probably missed my uh, my uh, Konami joke. Because Dark Tits even didn't laugh, so I don't even know if he saw it. I made an amazing Konami joke. It's hilarious. I laughed. And then this is just nothing. This is just nothing. 
There's nowhere to go in that direction. So that they they'd create a bunch of these spaces and like expect you know have the community actually do things around them, and the community did because this was all new. You know, this is like not you know Second Life now exists, but um, you know th this is all before then. So this is very novel for people to sit at their computer and do all this stuff. And if they only knew that you know. 30 years later, some jerk with a mic is going to be sitting streaming video over the internet of walking around this town and making stupid jokes. They'd be like, what? And now I am back here. So let's, let's go down. Because I think I've already gone right. Uh, Woods. What's down? I think this is where the, uh, this is where you can die. I think this is where I can die. I think I should get my gun out. I don't even know how to shoot the gun. Like, that's the scary part. It's like, I never had a gun in Club Kareeb. So, I don't know how this, okay, so this is, this is where, this was where I was initially. What's the name of this port? Just so I know. So this is that big roof. Like there was a roof all the top. They were like party on the roof, uh, and and stuff. And this is where I made my uh, my joke. There's a bunch of drill tweets in there. Weird Twitter has already uh, occupied that building. But uh, yeah, so I think if I go to the right. I'm in the woods. I'm gonna be in the woods. Woods Road. What's down here? Out of my way, highway. Oh yeah. I wonder what happens when you die. Like if if I die, like do I? Because I've got all my money. In uh, I, I actually want to like take my money and put it in the ATM before I go in here because I like, I don't I think if I die they can loot everything I have, and I think I have all my life savings on my person right now, and I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go back downtown and find the ATM. And then I'll go into the woods with my gun and see if there's anything I can find. I don't want to die. I want to live. Let's go downtown. So let's see. Please be an ATM on this screen. Please be an ATM. No, it's the arcade. Okay, I think I gotta go like all the way over here. If I just remembered what the teleport stop looked like, I would use the teleport. Oh, there's an ATM right here. These are ATMs. All right, so I am going to take... I'm going to take this, all my monies, and I'm going to put it in the ATM. There we go. I have now put all my monies... I don't think I have any more monies. Nope, no more monies. All right, so now I am ready to go into the woods. Let's do this. This is uncharted territory for me. I never did this when I was originally playing this. I don't even think Club Kareem had the weapons stuff. I think they took it out. It was supposed to be a 
more of a graphical mush than a mud, but this one actually had gaming elements. Alright. Go down. I'm gonna grep through the uh, stuff here. How do I fire a gun? Gun! Okay, got it. So if I if I have the gun equipped, basically like this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to get the gun. So now if I do something, I will actually fire the gun. So I'm going to go try to kill someone. Kill or be killed. Let's do this. Coming for you, Club Kareem. Here we go. Yes. So that is a uh, weapons-free zone is Pop Populopolis. But I am now leaving the weapon-free zone. I can, we, we now have weapons out here. Let's follow the road. Let's follow the road. I'm so scared. It's quiet. It's too quiet. I wonder if anybody's still on the server. It's pretty late. This is not good. I wonder if I hit an infinite loop. That I don't know. I've never been able to, like, kill other people. So, like, I don't know what happens when you die. But I, that's why I put all my money in my ATM, just in case they could, because I had a lot of money on my person. Rhonda's. Rhonda's is here. Let's go see Rhonda. I think Rhonda's a witch. Here's a hut. Rhonda's Roadside Resort. Get it? Resort. What does Rhonda have? It's an unsolved mystery. Let's solve the mystery together. You and me. Good. Oh, wait, there we go. Interesting. Native art. But you see, I don't have any money with me, so I can't buy anything. How much does this thing cost? It's a wind-up toy, but it costs nothing. So can I get it? But I don't have any, but it costs zero tokens. I don't have any tokens. I guess I do not get a wind-up toy. Do you have anything else, Rhonda? Oh. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going on. This is scary. I'm scared, guys. Souvenirs! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
My joystick's not working anymore. No, joystick, come back. Joystick, come back. Hang on. Joystick settings. No, joystick, come back. This is not good. Um... Joystick settings. We will go back to number pad and right control. Rondo souvenirs. Knickknack of some sort. All right. So let's see here. On the fly. Doo -doo. Look back in. All right. Now, let's put my joystick back on the... Bring me back my joystick. Yay! Okay, it's back. Thank you, Rhonda, for helping me. Anything over here? Nowhere to go in that direction. Can I go down? Yes. Oh, that, that just, like, left me right out by the house. Okay. There is no door there, but I apparently came out that door anyway. Let's see what's to the right. Up. Oh. All right. So there was a. Let's follow the road. Death awaits ye. And death awaits my controller as well again. Let's swap desks. Let's put it there. This is not good. Uh, let's see here. Joystick settings. Number pad controller. Sorry, guys. I I'm, like, actually adjusting, like, stuff on the fly here. Okay, see. And now I can't actually do anything. I locked up the game. Oh, no. I got to the death awaits me screen, and it's, like, and now my cursor is, like, busted. Am I dead? Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to do this so, cause, just because I want to know what's going on. So we're going to close. Is that, I don't know how to quit. How do I exit? I'm trying to like go look through the the chat. yeah so I don't know how to, okay I'm just gonna have to close closing vice R I P vice load it back up log back in and it should log me back in to come on.
I mean, death awaits me. How can I turn that down? It's loading. We're loading. This time I plug my uh, 360 controller directly into the computer instead of using a USB hub. So hopefully this will work now. Load at any time. It's like it said, death awaits you. And then my, like, and then, like I don't think it expect. I, they, okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to find this out, guys. We're going to find out what it is. What awaits me in Habitat? I put all my money in the ATM, so I'm not going to lose any money even if I die. I have a gun. At least I was holding a gun. I hope I'm still holding that gun. It's going to really suck if I lost that gun. Okay. Death awaits you. All right. There's my cursor. I hit F1. I am now here. Please tell me I'm still holding my gun. Or at least it's still in my inventory. Waiting for my avatar. Still waiting. Still waiting. There it is. And I think I am holding my gun. Yes. All right. Death awaits ye. So let's see. If I go up. It's really slow now. Let's just go. We'll go right. I got my gun, my no scope. That's a big ass mushroom right there. There were apparently monsters, like in the original version. Like you'd go out here, and this is where you would actually fight monsters. I don't, you know, famous last words saying I don't think monsters are implemented yet in this version. But that could be famous last words. I'll say that like a monster shows up. And I'm also getting totally lost. Never getting out of this area. Henry the Avatar. Henry the Avatar Atheist. Oh, Henry the Avatar, six wives he wed. It's not good. It's load takes longer to load than usual. That means there's more stuff in here. Divorcing them all. It's like a little story is being told. But keeping their heads. But keeping their heads. I think I, I think I found the infinite loop. It's an infinite loop, I think. What happens? Is the same thing gonna happen if I go left? Am I done for? Is this it? Is this how I die in an infinite loop of recursion? Oh no, okay. 
That's just as far as it goes. All right, I have hit the end of the internet. Now I'll turn back around. JSON. Press X to JSON. He's arrived. Alright, so we've been down this path. There's another place where death awaits me. What, what happens if I go up? Because it looks like those things are saying if I go down. I'll go down next. Well, let's, let's take the actual paths first. We're going to die. Lots of mushrooms. There's a talk? Oh. I shot. Oh, it's a weapons free zone anyway. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, talk sends a message to the Oracle. Um. There. Someday I will see what I can do. Why, thank you, Oracle. Thank you. This is not the way I was came in, so let's see what's out here. Trees. Acme quarries. All right, so this is a logging area. Okay. Will I ever get back to the road? Yes, I will. Okay, so I think over here was the Death Awaits Ye, and it had the... Oh, did I lose my gun? Like, this, was it like a one-shot? Oh, no, I have my gun. There it is. All right, Death Awaits Me Down. We're going to go south. Death Awaits Me. Death Greets Me Warm. Now I'll just say goodbye. Oh, apparently there are four people logged in right now. I must hit F6 instead of F7. Ooh, I wonder if I can... Oh, but I bet that's a bottomless pit. I wonder if it's a bottomless pit. We're 
go south. Then I'll come in and try to steal the head. Yeah, we're going to go back up, and I'm going to try to... Uh, those might be bottomless pits, and then I'm going to totally screw myself. But why not? Why not? I'll try to get this head. All right, so I'm going to put the gun away. I'm going to try to get the head. I want to get the head. I'm going to get the head. Well, it's not a bottomless pit. So it's not like E.T. Let me get my gun. Can I shoot the heads? Pew, pew. Oh, it's a weapons-free zone anyway. Do they not turn off the weapons-free zone? Am I, like, all scared for nothing? All right, well, let's go, let's go south. I don't know where I'm going. There's a big mushroom. Actually. This might be another uh, another endless loop. Now these these are all different. Or maybe they're not. Let's go left. Let's see what happens if we go left. Just get totally lost. This is Habitat, or Neo Habitat. Uh, revival of the first MMO. Ran on uh, Commodore 64 computers. I'm running Levice Emulator. It's been reimagined with a... Where is my cursor? Cursor is not showing up, even though, like, that was weird. Like, I'm actually still able to do stuff on the screen. I just don't see the actual, there it is. Now the cursor's back. All right, well, let's go up and see what's up. Uh, so it used to be called Club Karib, or it eventually became Club Karib, and now it's back to the Habitat name. Uh, it was on Q-Link, the predecessor to AOL. From like 1988 to 1994, it was not as fantastical and mystical as this. This still had some weird stuff. It had like caves, and that's where you would get lost. And so instead of the woods, you had these caves, and if you were not careful, you would get sent there, and it would be like jail, and you could never get out. It's a great way to spend your eight cents a minute. Eventually, I'll get back up to the road. There's, there's like, nothing down here. And it's a weapons-free zone, so it's like you're not going to die down here. Unless you can never get home. I might be in an infinite loop. Might have hit an infinite loop. Yep. So let's see what's left. Let's just keep going left then. 
I have a device that will take me back to some, like, home or whatever. Which I may get bored and do. Yeah, we're going to do that. All right, so I'm going to go here so I can see myself. I'm going to put away my gun because it's a weapons-free zone anyway. So put away the gun. And then I'm going to get out of my inventory this doodad, which I will then do. And it teleports me away. I wonder if it's a one use or if I get to keep it forever. Commodore 64 sound effects right there. And then we wait. Oh, this is this must be my abode. I uh this, this so this must be my th there I got a kitty. Hello kitty. Meow is what the kitty says. Okay, so you can sit on the couches if you do it right. So this is my turf, and you can actually, like, buy uh, stuff and store it in your turf. Okay, so I guess it doesn't work there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so let me... And I think this is in that big building. So this is in that uh, that skyscraper we were in about an hour and a half ago. Do open the door. Let me out. Yep, ten sixty three is my home. Do these actually like say who owned these? I didn't know if it would tell me what it was like. Oh God. Like how far do I have to go to get to the elevator? Oh, okay, good. But I'm on the 10th floor, so I'd have to, like, actually, like, ride, like, walk all the way back down. Which is kind of... I've already done that, so... I think this is where I'm going to... Yeah, because I'm on this, and I don't think I can actually, like, use the elevator. They might not have implemented the elevator yet. You're on the 10th floor. Do. Do. I want to go down. I don't want to sit. All right, so uh, anyway, that was... Uh, that's Habitat. Uh, you can find more information of it about at neohabitat.org. Uh, this is uh, a revival of the first MMO. And uh, I am going to end the stream now because I don't feel like walking down 10 flights of steps. Uh, and uh, there's nobody really in, in here anyway. Uh, but uh, thanks for checking it out. I hope to actually get some of the creators of this uh, who have lots of amazing stories to tell on a podcast over at vognetwork.com, Voice of Geeks Network. Uh, and uh, we'll hope that uh, that that happens soon, uh, and uh, probably after E3. But uh, I, I'd really like to talk to them about this because they had some very interesting stories to tell on the story uh, or on the stream that uh, the Maid Oakland did, uh, the Museum of Archiving Computer. I don't know. I don't know what it stands for. It's a museum for computer stuff. Uh, so I don't know. Um, something like digital entertainment or something like that. I don't know. 
but it's in Oakland, and they had the revival party this launch tonight. It's in alpha. Everything's on GitHub. You can run your own server. Your Docker instance written in Java or JavaScript. You run the client in Vice, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, so, oh, Randy is here. Hi, Randy. Yeah, I got lost in the woods, um, and uh, and stuff. So, uh, yeah, and I didn't die. I was trying to die. Uh, so uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, so so Randy, yeah, thanks, thanks for. I was actually in the chat over on Twitch. Um, and since you're here, I actually do a video game podcast, have for about 12 years. I grew up, uh, one month of my life, I played, uh, Club Carib, which I know is not exactly Habitat, but, uh, I played it, racked up a $400 bill, uh, which is why I only played it for one month. And, uh, it's, uh, my parents canceled the account and I never got to play it again, but it really stuck with me. Uh, the entire experience, because I, w- I was probably like just starting high school at the time. Maybe I, I know I'm young. Uh, so, but it made a huge mark. So I would love uh, to have um, you know you or, or somebody else from the Neo Habitat to come on. Uh, I do a live internet radio show on it's Sundays, and if you're on the West Coast at five o'clock, which is the most terrible time to do PR, I understand. But I would love. I've actually brought up Club Carib and Habitat on the show before back in the past twelve years. Would love to, you know, just chat about it. Some of the stories you told tonight were great. And, uh, and yeah, it's, yeah, six cents a minute on top of the, 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 the monthly fee. And it, it came out to about, I think, 400 to $500 was the bill because of Club Kareeb. Uh, so, yeah. So uh, I will be in touch uh, with the Twitter account because I'd love to get someone on to talk about this because I think that this is very, very, uh, it's, it's, a lot of people don't know about this. And uh, it, it shaped me a lot. So thank you for all the work that you've done over the past 40, 50, you know, however long you've been. I know this is 30 years old. It's probably the past 30 years uh, in, in computing and stuff because I know you've done a lot of stuff after this. I have Doug Crockford's book about JavaScript, The Good Parts, on my shelf. So all that stuff. So, um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching the stream, everybody. And uh, thank you, Randy, for all the, everything you've done. And uh, hopefully I'll get to talk to you on my radio show at some point, probably after E3. So it's not going to be any time very soon because uh, we're going to want to talk about the E3 stuff. But then I want to get back into the, some of the retro stuff. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, for, watch me get lost in the woods and everything. This was neohabitat.org. <laughs>